Hello and welcome to this episode of OpenGL Programming. Um, here we're going to be talking about the basics, the very um, beginning kind of elementary stuff. Okay, so we're going to get right, right into it without wasting too much time. Um, here we have our main function and our main function in for a simple GLUT application or OpenGL application is quite simple. You go ahead and initialize the uh, GLUT library so you can use the functions associated with this um, GLUT library. Okay, so we do initialize and we just it takes two arguments. Uh, just go ahead and supply these two up here back into here. Okay, then you tell it uh, what size window you want. Very straightforward kind of thing. Then you tell it the display mode that you want. You want RGB, double buffering, depth testing, and alpha. Okay, uh, and so basically that sets up your uh, uh, your rendering uh, capacity, so you'll be able to do uh, smooth colors, and do, do double buffering if you want, which is really recommended because when it comes time to animating through the objects, it's going to be very crucial that you have that depth testing. Of course, every 3D applications need to be able to tell if one thing is behind another and alpha and alpha comes in when you're doing things like transparencies and stuff and we'll talk about all that in great detail as we go ahead and uh, make more videos and then we go ahead and create the window itself and so which is what this one takes care of and here this is a function that I wrote myself so um, this goes ahead and does some basic uh, initialization needed like things like lighting and such Okay, um, and at the same time, we do something called register callbacks. Okay, what callbacks are is that when any time, for example, a uh, glut needs to render something to the screen, it calls your function. So callback uh, is a pointer to a function um, that is called whenever a certain condition arises. So in the event of gluts, whenever the application needs to redraw the window, it calls render. Um, another instance, of course, is uh, reshape, the reshape function, which is whenever the window itself is resized in any way, shape, or form, reshape function is called. And continuing on, we have the same kind of uh, thing that goes along with uh, keyboard. Whenever the keyboard is typed, this function is called. And we're gonna get uh, into detail how to get keys and stuff, and it's very straightforward. Okay, so and the same applies to the rest of these. Okay, now we have something down here is the the glut timer. The glut timer function. This function basically is called. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and go at it. Yeah, this is a function. It takes one argument, and what it does is it repeatedly. Re it repeatedly requests for the window to be redrawn so you can uh, have smooth regular animations and so here you tell glut to uh, you tell glut to force itself to redraw the window at this kind of interval so what this is saying is to redraw the window every 30 milliseconds okay and it's that straightforward this is the timer and this is the value in milliseconds uh, it's a recursive call so it keeps calling itself calling itself and um, here you just keep it uh, put a parameter of zero okay and here so we've talked about the main function starting from initialization of the window creation of the window and we do some in our personal OpenGL in initialization of states and we register callbacks and then down here we just go ahead and jump into the program okay now what this does is basically it enters an infinite loop and gives control over to glut to go ahead and do execution of checking for uh, the need to redraw the window checking for if the window got resized and it just basically after this function is called okay uh, it's an infinite loop and all these are called repeatedly 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 until a certain condition or you press a keystroke for example if you press a keystroke and it tells it to hey stop the loop so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this all 
by going to play. Now what just happened is um, all the calls are being made to Glutz. As you can see from Glut all the way down and it comes down to infinite loop. And it's stuck in this uh, main loop, which is a good thing. It's not a bad thing in this case. It's stuck inside this loop calling Glut's uh, timer, for instance. It calls Glut timer, okay? And it tells it to animate the window and redraw the window, which is what it's doing now. And if I was to redraw the, uh, resize the window, which I just did, it goes ahead and automatically resizes everything and does aspect uh, ratio so the image is, isn't being distorted. And so that's kind of the basics I wanted to just go ahead and talk about in this video. And in the next series of videos, we'll talk about specifically each individual function that goes along with the rest of these. So thank you for watching. And if you like what I'm, if you like this video, go ahead and register. I'm sorry, not register. Subscribe, so you can go ahead and stay on top of the action. Okay. We'll see you next time. Bye.